Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn experiment 3, potentiometer. The learning outcome for this experiment is, at the end of this lesson, students should be able to determine the internal resistance of the tricell by using a potentiometer. This is a circuit diagram for the upper circuit. It consists of switch S1, accumulator, then connected to point B of a wisdom bridge to point A and back to a switch. The lower circuit arrangement starts with the dry cell, the variable resistors, and switch S2. The positive terminal of the dry cell then connected to point E, and the negative terminal is connected to the galvanometer. Point C is when the reading of the galvanometer is zero. When switch S1 is closed and switch S2 is open, the potential difference of the accumulator is EMF. The length measured from A to C is L0. But when both S1 and S2 are closed, the potential difference is V equals to KL. Notice that the length measured from A to C is now labelled as L. Since we know EMF equals to V plus IR, we rearrange these three equations and we get L0 over L equals to R times 1 over R plus 1. Comparing this equation with Y equals to MX plus C, the Y axis is L0 over L and the X axis is 1 over R. Hence the gradient is the internal resistance that we want to find in this experiment. Theoretically, the Y intercept should be positive 1. Now let's take a look at the apparatus needed for this experiment. A Wheatstone bridge, resistors connected in parallel, switches, a jockey, an accumulator, a dry cell, a galvanometer, and connecting wires. Let's set up the apparatus for the upper circuit first. Make sure switch S1 is connected to the DC of the accumulator. Connect the positive terminal of the accumulator to switch S1. Next, connect the other terminal of switch S1 to point A of the Wheatstone bridge. Lastly, connect point B to the negative terminal of the accumulator. Now we have completed the upper circuit. Let's set up the lower circuit. Connect the positive terminal of the dry cell to one end of the resistor, like so. Next, connect the other end of the resistor to switch S2. Lastly, connect the switch to the negative terminal of the dry cell. We have completed the lower circuit. Now we are going to connect the upper circuit to the lower circuit. Firstly, connect point A to the positive terminal of the dry cell. Alternatively, we can also connect point A to the variable resistor. Next, connect the negative terminal of the dry cell to the galvanometer. Lastly, connect the galvanometer to the jockey. Now let's determine L0. Switch S1 closed and switch S2 open. Slide the jockey along the wire until the pointer of the galvanometer is at zero. This is L0. Now let's determine the L. With both S1 and S2 closed, slide the jockey along the wire until the pointer of the galvanometer is at zero. This is L. Repeat the experiment for 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 resistors arranged in parallel like this. Using this table, tabulate your data accordingly. Then plot the graph of L0 over L versus 1 over R. You can get your internal resistance from the gradient of the graph. This is the sample of the data for this experiment. If you have any questions regarding the experiment or the content of this video, you may leave your comment below.
Thank you and good luck with your experiment.